Today we're on a construction site in Haltham City, Texas, which is north of Fort Worth. The creek here is Big Fossil Creek, and a little over a year ago there was a large flood that came through, and the result of the flood caused the collapse of this bank that you see behind me, which is now being repaired. We've spent the time since then in the process of planning and design and now construction. In about 10 days we should be finished with this project. This area of the bank used to be 20 or 30 feet further away from where it is now. And as you can see, this fence has collapsed and it, uh, all the ground behind that goes back even further. At the top of that bank there, the house is right at the edge of the cliff. This area that I'm standing here used to be air. I'm actually about 20 feet above where the flow line was right after this thing collapsed. And we're building this wall here out about this far and it will help us to reestablish the lawns and the fences there and everything that was up there before. Gabions are basically a twisted wire material like this. It looks similar to chain link fence material that people use. It's a little more complicated than that. It has a PVC coating on it as well for corrosion protection, not just against the water, but also against the soil behind it. These are laid out and they've got ties in the middle of the basket and these rocks are placed in the box just like that, except that the craftsmen that will be building this wall will come and they'll place these rocks so that they're very dense in there and they don't shift and move over time. In the design of this particular wall, we have beams and anchors about every two rows. Each and every anchor is going to be tested. Most of the structure of the wall is complete at this point, but as the wall has been going up, certain of the rows of this wall have been tied back into the cliff with steel anchors. Those penetrate down into the rock and the final process here is to test those to make sure that they're strong enough to hold the wall up. The rod that comes through this concrete beam doesn't connect with the beam, it, it holds the beam down. So what they'll do is they'll take the nut and the plate off and they'll put the jack on and they'll push on the concrete beam and they'll pull on that anchor. And when they pull it, each one of these anchors is designed to take about 50 tons. And when they pull on that, as long as it doesn't move and they get to 50 tons, they know it's good. Just a few months ago, I couldn't have stood here on this side of this fence. This was the edge of the cliff. Since the wall's been built and we've backfilled behind this wall, we're essentially level with the backyard. Now the people along this wall here are not going to be able to fill in their yard. They can't bring dirt in and level up their yard anymore because that'll impose more weight behind this wall, which we don't want. They're also limited that they can't put in swimming pools or anything you know, landscaping more than a couple inches. They can plant trees because they're really not that heavy compared to the dirt that's around them. There are a lot of restrictions to make sure that this wall is protected from what homeowners sometimes do in their backyards. They've all been informed of that. It's written into the uh, deeds of the properties that, that are all along this wall. But the bottom line is they've got their backyards back. As you can see right now, they, they're very close to completion of the wall itself. And when they get through, they're going to construct a wrought iron fence along the top of the wall and using wrought iron there because we figured it'd be more safe so people could see what was on the other side of the fence. If it was a solid wood fence, for instance, you may not know that there was a 30 foot drop on the other side of it, but the wrought iron should make that very clear. I guess the last step would be to place sod. They'll put grass sod down and uh, trim it off real nice with the grass sod and the wrought iron fence and I think we'll be done.